guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video we'll see the architecture of wireless in local loop that is WLL so in our previous video uh, we saw why WLL uh, came into existence in the wireless technology and uh, how its uh, significance is there so in today's video let's see how the architecture of WLL looks like or what architecture does it possesses so uh, to begin with uh, we basically start with the diagram so uh, this is a diagram of how the WLL looks like so it has got a few components so it has got the public switch telephone network PSTN and it's connected uh, to the switch function SF via a trunk uh, then we have a, a unit called as the wireless access network unit VANU uh, and it has got few components it has got trans receiver it has got WL controller it has got an access manager AM it has got the home location register and which are all wired connected so this part in this architecture are all wiredly connected now uh, when you come to uh, this side that is towards the right you have everything uh, wireless so uh, everything here is connected by means of an air interface it's called as uwll and so you have a unit there also it's called as the wireless access subscriber unit vasu and then it is connected to the telephony systems or to the end user via TWLL so that's a, another uh, wire which is connected so uh, let's see the working or how the uh, call routing takes place in WLL so basically a uh, normal user can use the PSTN that is public switch telephone network in order to initiate call to end users which is located in that particular wireless coverage area so it's like in your uh, locality or uh, in your region you may be connecting to different people uh, with different numbers so uh, that's what PSTN is so in WL in order to initiate or in order to uh, originate a call you can use the PSTN uh, next call will go through this trunk data so uh, call will be routed through this and through switching function that is SF it will forward to appropriate VANU so uh, basically this VANU changes as in uh, when the requirement changes for the end user so here the components which you see that is uh, in this are generalized so uh, basically if user requirement changes or if the head office demands that you need to install these many components inside the VANU then there may be some uh, additions or deletions inside this setup so uh, VANU here acts as an interface uh, between the wireless and the wired system so uh, whatever you see on this uh, left side is the wired and towards the right you have the wireless system so uh, it uses two types of interfaces as you can see UWLL which is connected towards the network side that is uh, which are accessed uh, wirelessly and you have TWL which uh, adds towards or which connects towards the end user side uh, next uh, call is forwarded here via VASU and over the wireless link and it's initiated by VANU and VASU and finally towards the call is uh, transferred over the wired channel phone so uh, whenever call just uh, is initiated it passes through the trunk and then switch function uh, has an algorithm or its uh, intelligent function just uh, decides how the call has to be routed and uh, which all components has VANU got and then accordingly uh, it will just route through uh, the air interface and then uh, at the end system you have the wireless access subscriber unit and through that uh, medium of wire at home you may be having that uh, wire uh, with RJ45 so uh, with that user would be getting a call so uh, now this is how the architecture or the working basically of WLL is now uh, let's move on to the two prime components in this that is we have the VANU that is wireless access network unit so it basically acts as an interface between the wired and the wireless system like we saw and it basically takes and delivers the data across the wireless domain so from here it takes the data whenever user makes a call it takes the data and then it is distributed over the uh, wired and the wireless system so uh, it uh, performs you a couple of activities so those are authenticated access so whenever user is uh, dialing a number so it checks whether that particular number is complied to their standards then uh, the privacy or the call security is maintained over the air interface that is very much important and call management is done by the radio management so uh, this setup has got few of this uh, four uh, different parts that is it basically deals with the signaling and the resources then all the managing and billing routing and switching everything is managed by the VANU 
uh, and Vanu has few of the components like this trans receiver is basically your BTS from the GSM system that is base trans receiver station and then you have the AM so AM you can find here that is AM HLR uh, AM is access manager which is used for security purpose then you have HLR that is home location register then you have a radio access controller that is an optional uh, component which is there so uh, that controller basically just controls all the uh, functions or the calls which is coming through this next uh, you have the wireless access subscriber unit that is uh, this part which is in the wireless uh, domain so it consists of two interfaces basically to handle so uh, the communication is uh, made between the wireless and the wireless uh, wired domain so those things are handled by the VASU and the key role of uh, VASU is to translate between the wireless signals and the wired signals so uh, whenever the data is coming so it will uh, find the appropriate encoding mechanism and then it will translate into the uh, wired system so that uh, it can or the end user can understand uh, what's being uh, spoken uh, whether it's a text message or whether it's a uh, voice message so basically it translates uh, those signals into appropriate forms uh, next VASO ensures that the uh, traditional phones can be used with WLL so uh, not only like the uh, modern caller ID phones you can use with uh, this system but also the uh, old phones uh, where you had that ring kind of setup where you used to dial a number with that ring so uh, all those uh, devices or all those uh, units can be used with this so well that was all regarding the WLL architecture in wireless technology so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got educated watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video